Oh, uh, and we are starting this game. All right, well, Thank looks like guys. I'm going another two <laughs> rounds here without any co-host. As Casey has left the booth. I'm a co-host, dude. I'm a pretty man. I'll, I'll go up there and co-host. I'm very pretty. Brian Pewter, pretty man. Is coming, as we are starting. I apologize. We are starting game one here of the two game series of the Snappers and Calicos. These two games have a lot on the line. As we have playoff aspirations uh, in our eyes here for both teams. As uh, Taylor Briner goes down, Taylor has been an absolute monster. Both on the mound and at bat. And then you know, it looks like we have James Stein talking some smack with Steinbrenner. Army here is, uh, I, I think we were a little confused, Stein. Um, he's not actually a fan of yours. He is a Yankees fan, and that's where the confusion was. And it looks like we got little Bootsy cheering for Taylor Briner. Oh, and Manny is going to ground out for the second out of the inning. Little Bootsy says, let's go, Snappers, bring it Taylor. Quickly in the chat, who do you guys think is going to take this series? Do you think we're going to split? Do you think we're going to see two wins from the Snappers, move them up in the playoff rankings? That ball, wow, that almost hits me in the face. Thanks, Shane. Uh, tell Carrasco to swing with his eyes open tonight. Yeah, I agree. He's been a monster on the mound, but he has been struggling at the plate. As he has just sat down the first three batters. Just like that, we are in the bottom of the first inning, guys. And there is no win. This is this is absolutely crazy. And it looks like we got a ruling from Matt MJ Petricus. Calicos take game one, snappers take game two. I would I would have to argue that I think Taylor is going to keep his scoreless inning streak here. I think he could run this thing up to 20 scoreless innings. Hi, Taylor has just been unhittable at the on the mound, and you know what? He's batting over 500 this last month. Stein is still talking. Uh, we said you would probably be the starting pitcher if the Yankees were a PLW team, but they are not, and that you just have the Calicos. Uh, pretty comparable. Out of your mind with that win, no shutout. Matt, the wind has stopped completely. Can we get a view from camera two of the palm trees? Uh, camera two will show you that we have zero wind right now. It's giving Matty Levine to lead off the bottom of the first here. Ball one. And like I said, we have absolutely zero win now at uh, Hideaway Field. Ball two for Taylor Briner. Stein making a very bold claim that he'll strike out every MLB player. player. Little Boosie says snappers to shut out the Calicos. Come That's going to be a quick ball four from Taylor. Wow, Taylor's walked the leadoff batter here in the bottom of the first. That's going to bring up Alex Carrasco, who's going to try to bat with his eyes open today. He's going to take ball one. Taylor's really going to find his stuff here. Remember, he could find himself out of this game after two batters. 48 miles per hour. That's going to be Taylor's first strike. And we're going to even the count of twos here. That's going to be a full count. Taylor is finding himself in a sticky situation early. Let's see if he can get out of this spot. Alex is going to fight off probable strike. Keep the count full here on Alex Carrasco. Hey, wow. He's going to fight off another pitch. And he's going to ground into a potential double play. Looks like we have turned a double play here. That's going to be two outs. And that's going to keep Taylor alive at the mound. Beautiful. 
Let's get bring up Barry Hutter, who recently returned from an injury. He's going to take a big hack. And uh, Matt Patrickus says, Alex, open your eyes when you're batting. That is going to be strike number three, and we're going to go to the top of the second here. Looking to be what might shape up to be a pitcher's duel. Can we get a view of the palm trees out in center field? Can we get a can we get a view of the palm trees out in center field right now? Is there's there's no wind at all. No wind. This is this day is completely turned around as we have absolutely no wind. And that made a huge difference in the second and third series. Um, and looks like we got Little Batty Bakery out there. Go check out Little Batty Bakery, one of our sponsors, for all the vegan sweets and treats you could ever want. They make some of the best cupcakes. If you have a birthday party coming up, they make a phenomenal birthday cake. All right, they are one of the best bakeries in the state of Nevada. Uh, go and give them a check out. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is going to bring up Jesse Capps, top second here. Jesse is going to hit a hard hit ball, but that's going to be out number one. And the third baseman, Matt Patrickis, is going to run it in. He's going to bring up Legs Michael here. He's going to take a big nap at first ball. Oh, it's a little too fast. <laughs> oh boy. A little friendly adult banter going on here. He's going to foul off a strike here. Sorry, did I call Matty Levine Matt Patricus? Or am I saying your last name wrong, Matt? Because I really don't know at this point. 56 miles per hour. That's going to bring the count to 2-2 two two here for uh, legs. He is going to go down swinging for out number 2. Whoops, it looks like I said the wrong player made the play at third. Uh, but I won't mistake this player. This is Barry Hutter, and he is going to make the third out of the end. All right, it looks like we got Trench back in the booth after a long day. I'm good to keep okay, cool. going. Um, as What's this up, is my guys? Here we got, we got Maddie in there. Got Maddie and Cheppa and a couple uh, Where's Chep Chep? Snap -a, uh, Snappers fans here. Still got 40 viewers going on. I don't know. We're holding, we're holding our own here at 10 o'clock. Hey, Warfield, we're going to need uh, Trish to come take uh, seat number one. All right. Move I, number I will two. give up my uh, right. my main feature seat to Little Trish. Little boot boot. Little boot seat all over this chat tonight. Little boot boot's always over this chat. <laughs> Oh, you know, if I started an OnlyFans, Lil Boot Boot be my only fan. Oh. Hey, that's not a bad fan to have. There's Nick. I've been thinking about dabbling into OnlyFans as I've heard it could be a pretty profitable venture for my unique hobbies. Taylor out of sorts with that pitch right there. Man, Taylor didn't start off. He, uh, he walked the first batter of the game. That's big. And he's just kind of losing control. And there's Nick taking it to two and two, or one and two. Two and two. Smash. Nick leading the league in foul balls once again with over 134 this season alone. There we go. 
That's right, Nick Flood. <laughs> Always got to promote the vegan stuff, man. There's animals dying right now, and I'm not all about that. Inside pitch right there. But Trench, what, who, what do you think is going to happen um, in this series? What, what, what are you forecasting? Um, I know Alex is just a beast on the mound. So is Taylor, but I think... I'm going to go with the Calicos in game one right here. Calicos game one. You heard it here first. <laughs> I really think these these games are pickup games. Though. I don't think we can even offer any type of line in these games. Any it can go either way. I, I think you're right. I think Calico's game one. I feel like the momentum's there. Taylor walked the first pitcher. A smash by Joe. There's a tiny, tiny. You have some. Uh, uh. <laughs> What? What? I don't know what that means. I, I, I also don't know what that means. All the, uh, they, they use these little symbols and half words, and I, I'm not following it right there. Yeah. You have to really clarify what you're trying to. Uh, oh, and there's by. Jesse. Jesse, an absolute monster. Wow. Catches the inside straight right there. Still hanging in with 40 viewers this late. We got them from all over the world, Japan, Colombia, South Africa. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is Trench and the War Chicken in the booth. We got Manny up to bat. And, uh, he's, not as, he's not as vocal as he normally is. I don't know if it's a little later in the evening and when you're this old... You go to bed at 8 or 9 p.m., so I don't know what he's doing if he's playing bocce ball at 3 or 4 in the morning. So I think he is a grandfather these days, so he does, uh, you know, he does enjoy his morning bocce ball in the newspaper. I love it. Looks like we have Mrs. Santia's in the group. That's right. In the chat here. She's saying a little, little hello, hello. Would you concur that this is probably past his bedtime? Absolutely. Thank you. And Manny says, not today. He kind of pulled that one a little bit. Mama Manny not happy happy with her man. He might get a TV dinner instead of some fresh cook stuff. Here we got Webb up. Alex always looks like he's ready to go. He's got those tights on, the shorts over it, well manicured beard and that headband. He does have that signature look. Very distinguishable. You know, you've seen Alex Carrasco when you see the headband and the just perfectly trimmed beard. I mean, he is a model after all. Yeah, yeah, he's had some commercial gigs. He did some GQ work. Congratulations to him, but I just don't like his release and it gets me all the time. <laughs> Oh, a nasty pitch by Alex Wright. He's on the run. Uh -oh. And that... No, it's out. I think if it hits the cage, it's going to be an out. And Alex... No, he touched it. And it looks he like there's it. some he controversy. Nick's running in. He's the team manager. Very composed Nick is. And he's going up to the... He touched it. He touched it. I, I mean, but he touched it. It wasn't a throw. It doesn't matter, though. He, no, he touched it fair. I, I, I think it would be... I don't know. You'd, Sand Viper, are you in there? And it looks like... Somebody call Chad. And if Chad, if you're on, if you've seen... Hey, listen, we have, a, a ver, we have error. It went behind the dirt. It's an error. We have it from coming from a lead umpire. Chad, it hit the gate, though. It hit the gate. It's an error because it went behind the strike zone. Chad is on the chat. And we have Chepa right here in New York. Our affiliates in New York right now. Listen, this is the play it's going to be. It's an error. It's an error because it went behind... It's a fair ball, and then it was an error. It went behind the strike zone. Is that right, Chepa? What, what rule is this? I don't care what Chepa says. Yeah, what rule is this? I don't know. 
I want Adam. This fence is not dead territory. That's a live ball. What says that the ball is dead? Nothing. If he picked it up behind the strike zone, it's dead. No pitch. Let's do it. I'm, I'm listening to the lead umpire, whether it's an umpire on the field or not. Like this is like an umpire from New York. Yeah. Not our league. No, I'm saying it's Chapa though. It's Chad Sturz. No, it went off of him like an like an error almost. Like he he couldn't get it, and it looks like we have controversy. But the Calicos say we're gonna go after him anyway. We've called it a no pitch, and we will have to address this in the. Uh, we will have to address this in the. Uh, Chad, meeting. Alex got it. I don't know. I'm not making the call. I'm going to you, Chad. So this this is on you, but game on. It doesn't matter for Alex, but that's a little hot. Ball does lie sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> Especially when Carrasco's pitching. That ball might lie to you. You are right. That release angle just confuses the hell out of you. The heck out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that too. I like that a lot. I can't say enough about the guy, though. I mean, he's probably PLW's most beautiful man in the league. Packed by Jesse. They call him the Roger Federer of Wiffle Ball. He does wear the signature knee pads. All right, Chad has made the play. We're on to new and better things. That ball will be a play of controversy. If Joe drops this, then it will be even more controversy. But no harm, no foul. That will be a review in New York for tonight. There might be an apology coming from the league. I'm not sure. It won't change the outcome of this game. I never understand the uh, apology. Sorry about a missed call. Like, nobody cares about that. A little too late. And then, it looks, it looks like we have Stein jumping in a little bit. I know it's late for him. He, he's got to teach the kiddos tomorrow. Our next generation of people. Young wiffle ball players in the making. That's right. Watching Stein. They call him old Cookie Carrasco. Ah, they there we go. It. Throwing it back to the Indians' heydays, baby. 2016 Cookie out there. Maybe not. So I am much a Sand Viper. I'm calling it. I think I'm the best. I'm the best ever. And the way I'm calling it. It looks like we have a song. I'd have to get Caro over here to uh, assess this paragraph. And Alex goes right back up to Taylor, and that's going to be out number one. I do think Adam is probably asleep. No, he's uh, he's too energized to go. And we'll get Sand Viper 23 on the channel very soon. We'll probably have a clip of this very shortly. We apparently established this rule two weeks ago. Oh well, well we missed it. We're moving on. We are human. We do miss calls, and uh, yeah, we're just we're just gonna move on. Honestly, who cares? Move on. Yes, you have to be. It's a 21 plus. Barry coming off a long layoff in the league comes back. I heard he had a uh, very specific injury that made him sit out for two weeks. Okay, that sounds like a rotator cuff injury. <laughs> we'll give it a little bit. And we're up to 50 viewers. Thank you so much. I want to see some... Subs oh, a long Whoa. fly ball! Good. Oh, oh, right on the warning oh, track. Mind. Never <laughs> Man, mind. he smashed that. Change you want to breathe why you want to get up here? Break? Uncle B seems like he's interested in calling some games. He can come up here. All right, Uncle B, you're in. I'll, I'll give him. I'll give him a break. Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'd love to get to 100 viewers, and the only way we could do that. Yeah, come on up, Uncle B. And uh, to share this link 
Tell all your friends you stumbled upon the best wiffle ball league in the universe, though I've never gone out of the universe. So I truly don't know. I'm going to trade spots. Dr. Noah, you're watching PLW Hideaway Field right here in Las Vegas. This is the fourth doubleheader of the night. It's running a little late as we have a couple high scoring doubleheaders. We got Alex Carrasco on the mound right now, and he's nasty. Top four double donuts. <clears throat> That was actually a good pitch by Alex right there. Good pitch comes in at 52. He's the pitcher in the middle. There you go. Absolutely. Sub it out if you have an Amazon Prime account. You get a free subscription. Go to it right now. Let me see that you did it. Big strikeout right there. Big strikeout right there. Dun, dun, dun. And we're just going to keep rocking and rolling. We're up to 740 followers. All-time high. As every time one adds, it's always an all-time high. 59 miles per hour. Levine hits the batter. I don't know what Taylor ever did to Maddie, but he looks a little upset as he tosses the ball into his sternum. And here's Manny with Mrs. Manny watching abroad. Big cut by Manny right there. Those socks are rocking. And Manny goes on two straight pitches right there. We've eclipsed 50. Keep on following, guys. You're going to be part of something so special. The way we make this special is because you guys are in it as well. That's going to do it. We're going bottom four with the Calicos up. Little boot boot right there in it, in the trenches. Yo, dude, dude, rule. Blackout, welcome. This is Premier League Wiffle. We got some of the dopest stuff going on. We got Taylor on the mound, looking like Uncle B. These games in. have been bonkers tonight. The, the Vipers come back from a six-run deficit in the fifth in game two, and they come back from a seven-game deficit in the fourth in game one. All these the, the Bombers come back from six down against the, uh, the ones. Most of these guys are local, but we do have people that fly in as we have a small airport uh, runway in the back there, and they come in on their little Cessnas uh, plus the helipads. But listen, guys. Yeah, I, I think Taylor, uh, I don't know, man. He's a baller. I'm going to have to ask him if he pitches two big, good games again. He might be the MVP of this doubleheader. Monster pitching duel. What's that? Taylor did pitch in college. Taylor did pitch in college. Uh, my affiliates in Omaha right now have confirmed that he did play for the Little Beavers. He gave up three hits total in two games last week against the uh, Warbirds. Total. Three hits total in ten innings. Oh, man. Thomas, dude, we go off over here. Uh, we just had, last night, we had a baked potato party. A bunch of baked potatoes, vegan sour cream, vegan bacon, cashew cheese sauce, um, chili, steamed broccoli, all that kind of good stuff. What? No, that's Chad. Chad is Chad. Oh, off the top what? bar, but a little too hot. Well, Perfectly up top for 64. Back, when you're making that throw after stepping on home plate, you pass the strike zone. Dead ball. <laughs> Matty Levine yeah. takes one outside. Yeah, we'll have to reconvene on that ruling. That's Walker, a sand viper, now a lead umpire for tonight. Just in the a last bit two outside. Games. Look at the, uh, the game, the mouse and cat. Were playing. Thomas, 100%. Get me on the Ocho, we'll go wild. This thing will blow up into the tents. A big shot. What a play by Caps. He does the flamingo dance with a kneel. 
He got at least six inches uh, vertical jump there. Let's see the replay. <laughs> Absolutely. What a huge fight. Otherwise, that's a double. It scores a run. And here's Alex. Can he do himself a favor and score a run? It's going to be 0-2. Cal, what's up? Okay. We'll have to reconfer with Chad to make sure that there might be more different uh, when we get to the rule books. Alex, an unbelievable catch by Webb. I wouldn't think he'd be that fast off the hit. He just dove right into that one. Perfectly cupped his body to make that catch. I love that people at home. I want to see 60 viewers. Tell all your friends right now. Look at the, the camera work we got going on. We got Casey. We got, um, who's out down there? It takes a brave We got man Tom down there. We got Uncle B in the jump box. To the ground in, t in shorts on the Astro Turf. We got Miguel, get in front of that camera. Show your face what you're doing. We got rug burns we do here at the uh, PLW. You got any rug burns from uh, diving for a uh, shot up the middle there, Trench? I got a couple rug burns for diving uh, shortstop from the Astro Turf. Oh, 100%. In the summertime, you could just slice your skin off. That turf gets a little bit hot. I think we're going to put install some cooling system under Underneath the turf and now next Weber, year. after making an excellent catch and left, he comes up to the plate and see if he's uh, on a little bit of a heater, both offensively and defensively. Dr. Linguini, I'm all about Linguini. They say spaghetti and Linguini is the same. I say uh, no go on that. It's Linguini all the way. And here's Webb after making a diving catch. That might go fair if it stays. That would be so gross. No. Yo, Vince, talk to me. You're watching Premier League Wiffle right here, Hideaway Field, Las Vegas. We're deep in the night as some of these games have been very high scoring, so they've been a lot longer than normal. Unbelievable Wiffle. comebacks all night tonight. The yep. Ones, the Vipers. I'm... Alex, is both these guys are just pitching a complete gem right now. Is somebody going to come alive and say, I want to win this game, Uncle B, or not? Well, if I had to put money on it, I'm going to give it to the Calico. Because they have the experience, and they got uh, just... Here's Jesse Caps. He could end that streak with one swing. I'm not sure how to get the little coins uh, for the live chat betting, but if I had any, I'd bet them against uh, Caps here. Spook Ghost. I love Stein, dude. <laughs> it just tastes better. Is it made out of the same stuff? Absolutely. Five innings, Vince. Right now, it's real serious. And that's going to put Caps double. Go, go, Alex, go to the top Alex the, goes 110 to miles an hour divided by two. That's 55. The that's really, exactly what he just did. Look. Off the top of the frame is such a, such a loud pitch. Man. Kick because it just hit the very He goes the tink, bottom, tink. Just the very baby bottom of the wiffle ball. Hit the top of the frame. Unbelievable pitch. And there's a little boot. Always part of the broadcast. Firm fixture. Swing, foul tip. Alex is a, one of the toughest pitchers. I don't know why. It's not, he doesn't have this like nasty stuff, but he does. <laughs> yeah, dude. <coughs> and he goes right there. And he might have bent the. It looks. We're gonna have to reinforce these bats with uh, suspension. metal straps. Yeah, that's a strike. Suspension. Listen, guys, with all your efforts, Ejection. everything that you're doing, make sure you're sharing this uh, link right now with everybody that loves wiffle ball, that loves camaraderie between teams, and then you know what? Also loves animals because we play wiffle ball for Ranch Island Rescue on the other side of the property. That's my main jam. If I'm not playing wiffle ball, I'm in there building containers, enclosures, helping out animals, all sorts of stuff. Go to Ranch Island Rescue. Go to that uh, sponsor page. Pick one of the pigs. Wiffle ball Winnie, she needs a sponsor. Five bucks, ten bucks a month. Be part of something real special. Uncle B, you go back there occasionally. Loving on the pigs. I love seeing you back there. <laughs> Oh, God. You're great, dude. That was, that was solid. I have no comeback. Uh, and here's Barry, like I said earlier, after a long, long layoff. Let's see if he can put a run on the board. Oof. Just loving on the pig. That's right. Here we go. Is somebody going to come alive right now and try to win the game? I'm going to let this at-bat play out. We're going to let it play out, Uncle B. Nothing's going to be said for this remaining of the bat. Yeah. 
And there you have it. Batter is out. That's right. Winnie for the win. Tell them how great the sanctuary is. Sarah, you went back there. there full tour. And here's Nick. He could win it for him. I feel it. A big shot. Jesse right there. Is he going to make the throw? He does. 113 feet. Much deeper than most of the wiffle ball parks out there right now. It's not an easy task to get one out. <laughs> the wind earlier, you never knew a throw from the uh, third base was going to make it to the fence because it was. It, it could get oh, out. I know. I was on the. Uh, the I was on the mound. It was brutal. Here we go. Counts two and one here at Premier League Wiffle. You start with a strike, so it's two and one. He goes oppo. It looks like we're going to go to overtime. To the Sometimes they call that in the extra league. innings. That fellow there in first base, he can track balls to the fence. That's usually full, Thomas, but uh, tonight a lot of balls are being fouled off in home runs. It's getting kind of low. But we come with new balls every Monday and Thursday because we just don't care. We want clean balls. If they look a little dirty, we wash them, uh, scrub them down, do a little prayer for them, and then do sage to make sure that uh, there's no bad spirits with them. <laughs> There's Uncle B having a great time tonight. Look at that. Well, I'll tell you what. The guy in first, he was so fast. Uh, that guy over there, see? That, Sonny, you know, yeah. Marshall, I think his name is. He, he just threw that, uh, that, that, that weak ground ball to first base there, and he just tapped on the first base. It was over. I've, I've, I've seen him run to the field, off his wall, and catch pop-ups as a first baseman. Oh, absolutely. Baseman and get outs that way. He's the fastest man in the league by far. And now we've got one of the greatest pitchers, Taylor, which I'm going to put my money on if I could to win this game. Battery is uh, blinking in our center field one. Yeah. And he's going to put two on the board. Oh, watch your head. Oh, Careful. Oh, yeah, baby, time to eat. And Manny, time to eat. Woo! And this kid, he is... It's almost a deadlock for MVP. I mean, he's just doing it all right now. Um, what did they just say? Taylor, I put my money on Taylor. Man, he is so good. And we jump right to 56 viewers off that hit. That's right, vegan dinner all day long. Let's make something happen. Change the planet. Make it a good one. Actually, the planet was fine. Then humans showed up. Is he looking shaken up a little bit from after giving up a two-run bomb? And let's see if Manny could add to it. Oh, that That's was the pitch five, for him, okay. too. And there's double boot classic. They used to call me classic in high school. Isn't that crazy? That's a 56 viewers. That's an all-time high. I want to see 60 right now as we go into game two. But you know what? The Calicos are going to have the same opportunity. Man on second. Let's see how it plays out. No outs right now, though. I go with Alex in this bad man. Let's get, uh, du down. Let's get that runner off too on the on the on the diamond. He's gonna come with some nasty junk right here. Looks like Mama Manny is praying for her man right now. And that's a nice foul tip right there. I mean, why can't we just play wiffle ball and be kind to each other? Anyhow, Manny. Another big cut by Manny. I like how he's working the pitcher right now. Arm fatigue is starting to be a factor. I still want my money. Mama Manny goes gifted a one-month tier to Johnny Whiff. I love how it's going back and forth. Oh, and after all that, let's see if Barry makes the play. Manny not happy at all. A little boot boot. So fr it's such a game of like a quarter inch, a quarter inch uh, lower, bam, home run. Oh, right I there. know. I needed about he a said, bam. tenth of an inch to get uh, one out tonight. There goes Alex. Who saw? That's a bad boy's two. Oh, deep. A pop up, Fly ball. Pie, Nick on the run. Bad boys, bad again. boys. What you going to do? What you going to do? The weather makes such a huge difference. Earlier in the, in the previous four games, that's a home run with the wind. Oh, 100%. In this game, it's just a little, uh, it's the major differences, which is the, uh, the, the factor of the, the weather. Here we go. Uh, that's going to be a fly ball. Watch out for the tree. I don't know. Did we get tree action? I didn't see any tree, and that's going to do it. And the Calicos are going to try to redeem themselves like, um... It's like the first video, original video game where you shot the, uh... Artillery. What was his name in Dumb and Dumber, too? Foul tipped it perfectly over the tree. I think that's an ash. 
<laughs> I think that's uh, that's 100 percent an ashtray, uh, ashtray or ashtree or whatever you want to call it. Tomato, uh, tomato. We're having lots of fun here. Lots of hot cocos going around. We've got to follow the balls perfectly, outlining the tree without touching a single limb. And here we go. We make the catch uh, right behind third base to end the inning. <laughs> PLW. I've been mad at that tree for three years. Sorry, Maddie. We've <laughs> such in a bad spot. I can't like those tree trunks up there weigh like a ton. We gotta get <laughs> we gotta one get time it. I was with Tom and like I was thinking about cutting like this big like 15 inch trunk, dude. He's like, if you cut that, it's gonna swing into you and you're gonna die. I immediately stopped that. Grounder, Jesse got it. makes the throw out number one. B charge. Where are you from? A look on Maddie We're in Las Vegas right near Hideaway Field, Premier League Wiffle. Some of the better players in the nation. They fly in every so often to come play this game. Right, here we are. Taylor, Alex, huge pitcher versus pitcher matchup. And Alex would love. Alex is pitching for the Calicos. Taylor, these are two best pitchers well, in the league. Two, two of the toughest guys to hit. Two of the best all the time. Absolutely. I wonder if the war chicken can do that. He goes oh, down with a nasty. A high one. This is a big, big spot for Barry right now. If there was anybody that could go yard, it would be Barry right now. What? Big cut right there. Taylor is so legit. He just threw a perfect slider down and out. What's he going to come back with? Is he going to go straight for the strikeout? Or is he going to toy around? We're going to see. I mean, he's going to try to get him on some nasty stuff right here. And that's it. That's going to take game number one. Goes to the snappers. Mrs. Manny at home. Her heart rate was up, and now she can mild out, do some uh, Wim Hof breathing. We just done with this.